What up guys? I'm back at the refuge for one of my lunchtime sessions. I'm going to start vlogging these midweek sessions a little bit more. The idea is just to keep it more loose. I'm not on a gimbal or anything. It's going to be a little shaky, more real. And I'm just going to record what I see. I know that they're re resetting the left side of the cave today. So I just want to introduce you guys to our setters here. They're really cool. Dom Arcana, Mike Wickwire, Justin Edberg. Really talented setters. So I'm just going to stick a camera in their face and vlog this a little bit. Follow along. All right, it looks like the guys are pretty much done setting. Let's go meet the team real quick. So you guys know Dom, what's up, bro? What's up, buddy? You guys saw him in the moonboarding video. You guys know Justin. What's up? Coach Justin, AKA. You guys do not know Mike Wickwire. Yo. What's up, bro? How's it going? Introduce yourself, dude. Who are you? I'm Wickwire. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike's been setting for uh, basically since he was born. <laughs> and he used to set at the Touchstone Gym from California. But Solid V10 climber, and we're gonna try some of your palms today, Mike. Cool. Hell yeah. All right, Dom, you're done setting? I'm done. What you gonna jump on, dude? Warm up? I'm just warming up a little, but I think I'll, I just set this green green, so. I'm so no see, no uh, one's ever touched it? I mean, I, I climbed it, honestly, already, but yeah. not in my shoes and not chalked up. Well, let's see the flow, dude. I think V1s are your specialty at this gym, right? Jeez, <laughs> All right. Yeah, nice. Sick. How would you describe that climb, dude? Choss. Choss. <laughs> Garbage. Can I give it a burn? I think it's uh, pretty masterful. Yes, of course. Yeah. Here goes Miggy Mac. Green, green. Doing it wrong. Doing it all wrong. Kind of blew the bait already. <laughs> <laughs> Looking super just sick. Tall it over here. Oh yeah, that was a tall hey, man move. Hey, I finished the stupid glue club. And you did it. Yes. Big stand. I give it three out of four stars. That's really ambitious. I I gave it one for sure. <laughs> All right, let's move on up, dude. You got any V2, V3s in the mix? Um. V3, V4. Yeah, we went straight to red. Okay, let's go V3, V4. So Mike, tell me about this climb real quick, dude. Well, you know, we just hate the blue holds. Yeah. <laughs> Had to set with blue holds because there's all that was left. Let me just give it a first burn, dude. Yeah, just go give nuts. It. Okay. It's not side screwed. Be careful. Okay. Mike, can you commentate? Yes. You want like, you like, want, like running beta? Uh, sure. No, you don't get beta. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, we got I'll a just, four. I'll just heckle. <laughs> this is four running, Miguel. You gotta go in blind. No chalk either. Yeah. Having no set screws is kind of scary. The, the two rails after this undercoing, definitely grab them right in the middle. Okay. I want to go flying off, dude. Switch it up, no. uh -oh. That, Come on, Miguel. That lower yeah. one really stinks. You got a foot on the volume. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Come on. Damn, Wickwire. Come on. What are you doing to me? Good. Yes. <laughs> That was a really scary move. Yeah. <laughs> so did I do it right, Wickwire? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah? What would you change? Uh, you might bring the left hand up and pause on the lower rail. Okay. All right, I'm going to give that also three out of four stars. Cool. We still have to find a four out of four star boulder on the set. Yo, Dom, what are you doing, dude? That's a black tag. I know, I'm just trying to see the moves. Uh, Wickwire set that one too? Wickwire set this one. I overheard you guys saying it's the hardest V9 in the gym. No, it's not as hard as that one, I don't think. Oh, really? Yeah, that green one's the hardest. Okay. Um, Although, I don't know, we, we haven't, haven't tried, tried this it yet. yet. So <laughs> <laughs> I should hold off judgment. Right, it doesn't look as hard as that one. I'm eyeing this V5, V6, Dom. It's, um, I don't see any feet underneath it. There's, there's no feet underneath it. So, what's the deal, dude? What the hell, Dom? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't set it. <laughs> uh, yeah, you gotta figure it out. I mean, yeah, it's gonna need some tricky, uh, some tricky maneuvers here, okay. bud. Yeah, usually there's some really good feet around, so I think I might have to try to use this volume, yeah? Something like that. 
That's not gonna work, Dom. Come on, Miguel. Um, let's try something else, huh? Why don't you beta spray me, dude? Well, let's try a uh, let's try a figure four. Figure four, huh? Right leg over left arm. Through your arm. Through, through, through. Oh. Thread it. Like through here. Yeah. 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 Yep. And then really sit on your arm with your leg. And yeah. lock off that left bicep. Push the right knee downward towards the ground. Right knee down towards the ground. Yeah, like that. Yep. Drive down. Drive down. <laughs> and lock off. Okay. Yeah, 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 that's it. Keep bumping, keep yeah. bumping, keep bumping. And then release. Unwind and kick your foot out right. Oh, wow. You can get, get higher on the right hand. Go. Get it up here. Yeah, maybe even pinch it. Who the hell set that thing? Gustino. <laughs> Ideally, your, your elbow's more bent, too, when you're on the lock-off. Okay. Your arm looks pretty straight. Yeah. Ideally, you're going, like, crook to crook, and then you can, like, bend this arm to the lock-off and drive down here so your hips get lifted up. Wow. Get that's yeah. gnarly. It doesn't get used super often. So, um, Dom, you were telling me yesterday that a lot of people don't really start problems correctly, right? Like, yeah. If I were to do this and get into the knee bar and then come down and match that, you would say that's invalid, yeah? For what we're trying to do with the gym, yeah. We would like to stick to more like comp focus rules. Yeah. Um, so, any hold that you use to get into the start hold yeah. is technically invalid. Dang, dude, is the comp police going to come get me? Or what? <laughs> I mean, that's, pretty, that's the rules outside okay. too, right? Yeah, for sure. I would yeah. say there's one caveat to that, is that rock climbing is rock climbing. Do what you want. Yeah, yeah. yeah just have fun. Like, yeah. don't feel like you have to uh, yeah. but stick want, with it. But if you want to claim the boulder, maybe do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, well, I know the beginning beta, dude. Let's rest and give it a burn. You Let betcha. me watch one of you fools climb. Wild J-Star appears, dude. <laughs> you found him, man. <laughs> You're gonna set some hard stuff on the way over there for us, dude? Uh, uh, well, yeah. Editing right now. Okay. Which I feel like is the most important part. And uh, so far, I'm quite happy. One okay. is done, probably yellow. Yeah. And the other one is black, and I'm trying to make sure that it's not impossible. Okay, dude, well, let's get you on it later, man. All right, sweet. Oh, cool, I'm gonna film uh, Dom on Wickwire's V3 V4 that I tried earlier. That start is rotating hard. Yeah, I know. That's what I was afraid of, dude. Where do we go from here? So Dom's following all the correct beta. This is what I thought was the trickiest part of the boulder right here. Yep, sick. Right foot out. Dude, you made it look so not scary. It's all that tension. What's the other one for? Yeah, I just thought you might bump off of it or something. I would I would leave it on for a shorty. The other thing I was thinking is if you're here, you could stop here and yeah, then go. Which I think a lot of people will. I hope you guys don't mind my shaky camera footage. Let's see how he does this right foot up. Yeah, the left foot on there was real good. How do you feel about it uh, now that you climbed it, dude? It's good. Yeah, I'm happy with it for you know considering it's blue holds. Right, four out of four stars. Uh, like two out of four because it <laughs> automatically loses two stars for being blue. <laughs> okay. So okay. you're saying it's as good as it can be? It would have been a four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it would have been a four if there was any other color hold. <laughs> wow. I honestly didn't think it was bad at all. All right, Justin, so I'm gonna try your boulder again. Perfect. Uh, just yell at me, dude. Be, be a tough coach. What's he got? You get to the first jug, I think you're set for the rest of it. Oh, really? Okay, drive the knee down. Yeah, come on. Come on. on yeah, get as high as you yeah. can. Yep. There you go. There you go. Squeeze that core. Squeezing that core is the hardest part. Yeah. Slot in the knee. And that knee's gonna be solid. Dude, you even. You can Set go it for tall people, You can huh? go no hands here. What? Can you go no hands? You can let go of both hands. Oh, He's, really? Use that core. <laughs> I'm swinging out. Okay. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Ah. There you go. <laughs> Walk that foot through. Then bring the left to the top when you step it up. <laughs> Dude, that is so gnar. Let's see how easy this part is, Justin. I think the top would be pretty good for you. I'm okay. Oh. Yeah. Right, nice. Thanks for the spray, dude. Oh, these are nice. Just keep breathing. Oh, 
Nice. Okay. Dude, that's coring up, releasing the knee bar and all that. Is that, right? is that what you intended? Yeah. You got you got long legs, so it's harder. Yeah, a, dude, that's crazy. There's a couple crazy. other ways you can do it too. Yeah. Yeah. You can just straight up campus the first move, or you can start in like a crazy lever, like okay. with your foot all the way out. Yep. And uh, one, the original intention was actually toe first, and we've had one person do it that way as well. So toe first. Yeah, it's harder. Can yeah. you do it? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do the next problem, dude. Yeah. All right. In the Fine. meantime. Mike's gonna do a new V5, V6 yellow hold. Looks pretty crimpy on this. What degree wall is this, Justin? Like 55 degree or something? 50? It's a little steeper than the 45. Yeah. Looking good, Wickwire. Who set this one? Sick, Dom. Ooh, Yo, Dom, show me how this one's done, dude. I'll show you the way I do it. Just the knee bar one. Okay. Dom is such a strong climber. His core is crazy. Oh, right foot out there to start. Okay. Sick. Okay, he got that swap in. That's a really cool start. All the rest of the holds felt pretty good to me. Dom's just staying tight, keeping those hips in, and done. Yeah, your starting beta was cool, dude. Yeah. Do you not like figure fours, or is that- I haven't even tried the figure four yet. Oh, That's really? the way, we just like, we didn't know the figure four was gonna be the, the easiest way to do it. Right. So we're just trying to like figure yeah. out what was an option. Your way is way more tension, right? Yeah. Yeah. All the bugs. It's yeah. interesting, but it also, it, it negates having to kick your foot out. For sure. Yeah, so you start so in a better like position. Harder one way and easier in another way. Yeah. Right. It's just kind of like personal preference. Right. Hard to get the, it's hard to keep that body tension for most people. Though. All right, I hope you guys are enjoying seeing setting and forerunning behind the scenes. I'm gonna go check in on Jonathan and see how he's doing with his problem. Green, green hold? Green holds, yeah. Sick, dude. I think it's, it's almost there, but I can't figure out this last move. Yeah. So you end up like, you've got this big, kind of like higher volume-ish green hold that you take as an underthing. Okay. And then you come in you to this little yellow? bacon strip yellow? thing. Yeah. And so you're like compressing really tight. Yeah. And it just feels, what I really want is for people to move over the left foot and go up to something to the left, but it just feels so hard to move left. Got it. So. So changing the last hold is gonna uh, help or? Maybe. Uh, or just trying it some more and seeing if there's a subtlety. Okay. It's always hard to determine, like, you know, at what point do you change a hold or do you just keep... Got it. You know, because it's a slippery slope, like, if every time something feels hard, you change a hold, then... Right, taking the easy way yeah, out. Yeah, sometimes you gotta just, like, let it ride for a bit. So right, right. Okay, cool. I'll stick around a little bit. Yeah. See if we could get a solution, yeah. dude. The guys are trying the V7, V8 that Jonathan Segrist put up over here. Purple hold. So now we got Jonathan doing the, what he calls a V7, V8. The setters here are saying it's a V9 or so. Sick, dude. The, the move to this hold is still hard, but then it's done. Yeah, yeah. I think that that move is probably V, or sorry, may not V9, but a couple of V8 rooms in a row. I think it's black in the end. Probably. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Smashing that right hand's hard. It'd be really interesting to see, like, the kids on it, you know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely favors a shorter Yeah. Fair enough. I'm going to have to go soon, but I want to see Dom Arcana on a. Uh, V7, V8 that he set. How would you describe that one, Dom? Uh, pockety, yeah. body tension. Pockets? Big cross crux. <laughs> pockets. Yeah, did you climb the thing yet? No. Jonathan, you, you should try like it. it. They're jug pockets. They are no, I like that. No, they're not like half pad. They're not, they're not tweaky enough? No. <laughs> <laughs>
Figure for it, dude. <laughs> All right, Dom. Are you ready? Let's close it out on a send, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Better <laughs> <laughs> not fall. No falling. People love these midweek vlogs, dude, because they're sending. Yeah, there's no sending. Right. I get the dislike button so many times if there's no send. Yeah. Oh snap. Wow dude. Dude. Thank you. I won't get all these dislikes now. Yeah, we gotta send. Hell yeah, dude. Well I'm out of here guys. I gotta get back to the lab. Thanks for being on the channel. You bet buddy. Mike, you go. Can we see you on the channel more? Yeah, we'll be around. If I'm... you get that green thing, you better send it to me, dude. <laughs> You'll see it on the ground. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Jesus, Mike. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay. Dude, you got it, Jonathan? Yeah, well, I changed the hold. Oh, I see. Because, uh, actually, for a different reason than I predicted. Yeah. Because Justin was thinking that people could cheat. Cause oh, people, the bacon strip went away. People could match this? Yeah. So I, I turned it into a, a one-handed hold instead. Got it. And that made all the difference. It did, yeah. Well, it's a little bit better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sick, dude. But it's good. It's good. Well, I got to get back to designing buildings, dude. I'll catch you on the flip, man. Okay, so you, see you soon, man. <laughs> see you, bro. All right, guys. That's going to do it for this episode. Stay liked, stay subscribed. Before I leave, though, check out this sweet poster that I made for the SNCC, Southern Nevada Climbers Coalition. It's got our boy Honold on there. And if you're not a member, Scan this QR code and join. It's a really, really worthy cost. But anyway, <laughs> I'm late for work. Catch you guys later. <laughs>